Yeah, so we're doing a bifold today. This is the Carl Friedrich Walden. Let's check it out. And I'll give you a nice close up of the Carl Friedrich Walden bifold right here. And while you guys are checking this out, Let's talk about some of the features. All right, so the Carl Friedrich Walden is a vertical bifold style wallet that has six upright pockets for your vertical stacked credit cards and an external bill compartment that wraps around the outside of the wallet for your cash. It's available in three colors, chocolate, black, and the color that I have right here, cognac. It's made from vegetable tan vachetta leather and is machine stitched from single filament thread. All right, let's talk dimensions. It comes in at 3.3 inches by 4.1 inches when closed. And now let's measure the thickness of this leather here. So it comes in at 1.3 millimeters. That means it's just over a three ounce leather. And now let's weigh this bad boy, plop it on the scale. Comes in at 2.2 ounces and in grams it comes in at 64 grams. And Carl Friedrich is based out of London and they're sort of known for producing really high quality premium leather products, not just wallets. But personally, I only know them for their wallets. I reviewed one of their other wallets before and I'll put that link down below in my description box if you guys missed that video. So let's talk about the quality of the wallet in here. So like I said, it's made from a vegetable tanned vachetta leather and I'll give you guys a nice close up of that leather. You can see the grain for yourself. It's a nice smooth grain. And that leather is throughout the whole wallet. There's no other materials other than this nylon pull tab right here. But I'll talk about that when I go over the cash and card test a little bit later on. So I do own a few wallets made of Vachetta leather. It's a really nice high quality leather. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to do a smell test here. Give me one second. So it's more of a light leather smell. It doesn't have that classic leather smell that I love, but the smell is there, just not as much as a weirdo like me would prefer. Next, let's look at the stitching here. That is a single filament thread machine stitch right there. And that goes all throughout the wallet, as you can see right there. So usually a machine stitch is a negative in my book, but it all comes down to what sort of thread that they use. If it's a cheap thread, it's going to come undone anyways, even if it's a hand stitch. So it all depends on what sort of thread they use here. I know this is a nylon thread. I just don't know exactly what type here. Would I prefer this to be a hand stitch? I would absolutely 100% prefer this be a hand stitch wallet, but that would also mean it would drive the price up as well. And this is a pretty pricey wallet. And once again, I'll talk about that at the end of this video. And regarding the edges, all the edges look pretty nice. Everything is nicely taken care of right here. Even on the cuts, you can see. So regarding the burnishing, Everything looks really nice here. So the overall quality here gives a thumbs up from me. Now let's talk about the styling of the wallet in here. So it's a vertical style wallet with six total pockets on the inside and an external build compartment that wraps around the outside. Now I don't see this style too often. I usually see the dedicated build compartment on the inside of the wallet, which I'm all for. When I was carrying this wallet, I really started getting used to this build compartment being on the outside like this. And even though it has a little cutout right here, all of my American dollar bills were completely hidden back here, so that's a plus. And you guys know I don't review a lot of bifolds on this channel, and there's a reason for that. It's because I generally don't like carrying a wallet that has stacked credit card pockets, as you see right here. But when I say that, I generally mean horizontal stacked card pockets that are really close together. The Walden here has vertical stack pockets, which really does help with the thickness when it's closed up. And in my opinion, it makes it a lot easier to grab the cards when they're vertically stacked rather than horizontally stacked. So there's three card pockets on the left, two card pockets on the right, and another pocket right underneath those three on the left-hand side with a pull tab. Now in this pocket with the pull tab is where I was putting my cards that I don't use on a daily basis, plus my tracker card. And I was putting my most used credit card right here in this front pocket. And honestly, I didn't hate it. The style of these internal pockets is very functional. And I'll give you guys a look at this fairly spacious external bill compartment right here that wraps around the outside. And I forgot to mention when I was talking about the quality of the wallet, you can see all the inside of the leather is finished as well. So that's really nice. And regarding the branding, you can see the Carl Friedrich stamp right at the bottom of the wallet on the inside and a stamp that says Italian Vachetta leather right above that. So everything's on the inside, nothing on the outside. I love it. Now let's talk about the cash and card functionality here of the wallet. And I already went ahead and preloaded this wallet with eight cards and 
10 bills. So eight cards is the recommended maximum for the Walden, but they didn't really state the maximum bills that you can stick in here. So I just randomly stuck 10 in there and they fit pretty nice. And while I have this loaded like this, I'm going to give it a quick measure because I'm really curious of the thickness when it's loaded up like this. So it comes in at 23.9 millimeters and in inches that is going to be 0.94 inches. So honestly, that's not terrible having eight cards and 10 bills in here, especially being a bifold. And when I was carrying this, I had seven cards in here and about seven bills. So I was carrying this just a little bit thinner than this. And like I said, I kept my most used credit card right here in this front pocket. And just so you know, when I first got this, these pockets were really, really tight. But as of the nature of leather, everything molds and conforms to whatever you put in there. So you can see that these pockets are already worn in and functions really nice. But just so you know, when you first get this wallet, they will be a little tight, but that's normal. So I have one card per pocket in each one of these pockets on the outside right there. There's three there, two on this side, and I have three in that pull tab. So if you just pull that little tab right there, it's not a stretchy elastic pull tab. You can see that works just fine. And getting access to these stacked vertical cards right here is a lot easier than a horizontal pocket, as I mentioned before. You do still have to fumble around with some of these back pockets, as you can see right here, but the front pockets are really easy. But as long as you just push those cards out of the way to get access to those back cards, you shouldn't have too many problems. And now that cash compartment right there, 10 American dollar bills, and when it's closed, nothing is showing even through that little cutout right there, so that's nice. I don't really use bills on an everyday basis. This is just for emergencies, but you can see just how quick and easy it would be to take out my bills if I needed. So if you still use cash on an everyday basis, the Walden is going to be right up your alley. And I know you guys wanted me to start doing more bifolds on my channel. So what do you think of the Walden here? For me personally, a bifold isn't my first choice when I'm carrying a wallet, but Honestly, like I said, I know I've said this over and over again throughout this video, it really started growing on me. Am I going to continue carrying the Friedrich? Probably not, but that's just the nature of my channel. I review wallets all the time. So even if it's a wallet I love, I have to put it down to the side and start carrying something else. But even if I didn't have the channel, would I carry the Carl Friedrich Walden? Um, yes, I would, but I probably would have something else to swap it out with from time to time. For me, a bifold is just too bulky in my pockets, but even fully loaded here, it came in at just under one inch. So that's pretty darn good. So if you've been looking for a leather bifold that has vertically stacked pockets such as this, I can definitely recommend this. But now let's start talking about the ouch portion of this video and that's the price. That's right, the Walden is 165 bucks. So that's a pretty penny for a leather wallet. And for somebody that reviews new modern wallets all the time, I'm starting to see that price more and more, unfortunately. I remember my very first review on this channel was a Ridge wallet. It's a sandwich style aluminum wallet. And that was 72 bucks. And it was about six years ago. And I remember thinking, wow, $72 for a wallet? That's crazy. But since then, I've reviewed wallets from $10 up to almost $800 in price. So something that's $165, I'm sort of starting to get desensitized to it a little. So I have to bring myself right back down to earth and say, would somebody really pay $165 for this wallet when there's other wallets that are cheaper that does the exact same thing? And yeah, of course there are. There are plenty of handmade leather wallets out there with really high quality full grain leather that are cheaper. But they're all starting to creep up little by little. So that $100 to $150 price point is starting to be normalized. I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm just saying that's what I'm starting to see more and more. So if you do have the $165 to spend on the Walden, you're going to get a pretty nice premium wallet here. But if you think that $165 is too high, I don't blame you. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Carl Friedrich Walden Bifold? If you want to check this out for yourself, I will put links down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!